Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Alex Telles delighted to join Sevilla on a season-long loan from Manchester United. Alex Telles is delighted to have joined Sevilla this summer on a season-long loan from Manchester United. The Brazilian left-back is looking forward to the start of the new season in Spain. Telles joined the Red Devils from FC Porto in 2020. The 29-year-old was impressive for the Portuguese Giants in his four successful seasons with the Blue and Whites. Speaking to Estadio Deportivo, Telles was ecstatic with the move. The 29-year-old didn't think twice when Sevilla approached him. I'm very happy to be at this great club. From the first moment, I got the message to come here. I didn't think twice. I'm ready and prepared for this important week in which La Liga begins. In life, we go step by step, Telles said. Telles has left United this summer as Eric Ten Hag has strengthened his number of options for the left-back role. The Brazilian was one of four first-team players capable of playing in the left-hand side of a back four. Luke Shaw has been the first choice at the Manchester-based club for a while now. Tyrell Malassia joined from Feyenoord this summer as our first signing. Lisandro Martinez also arrived from Ajax to reunite with Ten Hag. The Argentine is capable of playing in the left-back position. Telles will now ply his trade in Seville for a season, but the Brazilian has left his future open. The 29-year-old is due to return to Manchester at the end of the 22-23 campaign. Telles has added, Now, I'm here and I'm going to think about this important year for everyone. I don't think about the future. The future depends on now. I want to do things well and give my best. I'm proud of how my career is developing because I've come this far and through all the great clubs I've been through. There are no difficulties for me. I'm always positive, thinking and willing to work hard to get what I want. RB Leipzig close to agreeing summer 2023 deal for Manchester United target Benjamin Sesko. RB Leipzig are close to agreeing on a deal with the Red Bull Salzburg for Manchester United target Benjamin Sesko. The German club are close to agreeing on a deal to sign Slovenian in the 2023 summer transfer window, according to transfer guru Fabrizio Romano on Twitter. Leipzig are the sister club of the Austrian Bundesliga champions. They have prior experience of doing transfer deals amongst them, such as that of manager Jesse Marsch leaving Salzburg for Leipzig in April 2021. The Saxony-based club are closing in on tying down the signing of Sesco for next summer. Salzburg aren't keen on losing their wonder kit this transfer window. United have been one of the Premier League clubs alongside Chelsea, who've held talks with the Slovenian internationals agent, but it seems Leipzig are on course to getting the better of the two English giants. Sesco is also supposedly happy staying in Austria for another year. A deal between the two clubs could be announced this week itself. This puts United's plan in a spanner. The Manchester-based club are the separate for additions to the forward line and the club had been working hard on a deal for the 19-year-old. The opening game of the new campaign saw Eric Ten Hag having to switch things up and compromise. Due to a lack of options up front, Christian Eriksen started against Brighton and Hof Albion in a false nine position. Ten Hag had to deal with a dilemma in his first competitive game of the season. United should have already had more depth in the squad with Cavani leaving at the end of last season. Now, we are set to miss out on Sesko as well. Bayern München Sporting Director Hassan Salah Hamidic rubbishes the claims of Leroy Sané to Manchester United. Bayern München Sporting Director Hassan Salah Hamidic has rubbished talks surrounding the future of Leroy Sané. Manchester United have been linked with the German winger this transfer window. Sané made a move to the Bundesliga champions back in 2020. Since then, the 26-year-old hasn't been able to replicate the form he showed early in his career and a move to the Red Devils has been mooted this summer. Speaking to Sky's Germany, Salah Hamidic put a stop to all the noise. Bayern's sporting director called the Sané to United Charter an unfounded rumor. It's an unfounded rumor. Leroy is an important player for us, so there is absolutely nothing to say about Hassan said. The Red Devils are in the market for a forward this summer. The conditions of United's current forward line 
compel the club to invest in attacking options, Sané has experience playing in the Premier League. The 26-year-old joint rivals Manchester City from Schalke back in 2016. The German spent four seasons in England, but he was ruled out for most of his last season with the Sky's Blues due to injury. Sané became an essential part of Pep Guardiola's first Premier League winning side in the 17-18 campaign, but the German lost his place in the team after that. Now, the 26-year-old plies his trade with Bayern. United have had uncertainty surrounding their forward line this summer. Most of our attackers in the previous campaign were disappointing, and they have started the new season in the same vein. Preseason had renewed fans' hopes, but the defeat against Brighton and Hof Albion has deflated the mood once again. United need more quality up front. We need someone capable of making an immediate impact, Sané is as fast and tricky winger, but it seems the club don't have a chance at signing the German as of now. Manchester United have begun talks with Real Betis for Argentine midfielder Guido Rodriguez. According to journalist Mirko Kalemi via United Zone on Twitter, Manchester United have engaged in talks for Real Betis defensive midfielder Guido Rodriguez. The Argentine midfielder could cost the Red Devils around 20 million euros if they were to pursue his signing. The 28-year-old joined Real Betis in January 2020 from Club America. Rodriguez has spent the majority of his career playing the number six role. Fans who have seen him play know his robust character, not afraid to go into challenges. Over the years, the Argentine has become an essential part of the La Liga outfit. Betis have had reasonable success under manager Manuel Pellegrini, and Rodriguez has been a crucial part of it. United supporters are currently up in arms with the state of their midfield. The loss at home on the opening day of the season has left a lot of people pointing fingers at our lack of quality in the middle of the park. Fred and Scott McTominay started the game against Brighton and Hof Albion. The Brazilian played in the pivot position, while the Scotland international was seemingly given the freedom to move further up the pitch, but Eric Ten Hag's gamble backfired as Fred made a few errors and was unable to keep a hold of the ball. McTominay didn't have a considerable impact on the game either, and the lack of a quality defensive midfielder on the pitch for the Red Devils was evident for everyone to see. Rodriguez is someone with vast experience. The 28-year-old is an Argentina international and an important player for Lionel Scaloni. United fans are desperate for the club to sign elite players for various positions, especially the engine room. However, how the management proceeds with the transfer window closing in a few weeks remains to be seen. Manchester United agree personal terms over forward transfer. Manchester United have reportedly agreed personal terms with Bologna striker Marco Arnotovic. The Austria international is emerging as a surprise transfer target for Man United this summer, despite not playing at a particularly high level in recent years. Arnotovic previously impressed in his time in the Premier League with Stoke City and West Ham, but few would have had him down as the kind of player United would be likely to go after the summer. Despite his previous experience in English football, Arnotovic has recently spent time in the Chinese Super League and hasn't exactly set the world slight in Serie A. Still, it seems this deal is edging closer, according to Tancredi Palmeri. Arnotovic might make sense as a backup option for United, but it's hard to imagine this is the kind of signing that will really take the club back to where they want to be. Eric Ten Hag has a huge job on his hands at Old Trafford, and he surely won't be too pleased with how this transfer window has gone so far. Many big names have been linked with the Red Devils, but so far, not enough changes have been made, even if Christian Eriksen and Lisandro Martinez look like promising additions to the squad. Manchester United transfer target Adrian Rabiot wants Premier League move. Manchester United are working on a transfer deal for Adrian Rabiot, with the Juventus midfielder actually being on the club's radar for some weeks. Some Red Devils fans will have been surprised by sudden reports yesterday of their club agreeing a move for Rabiot, but Fabrizio Romano insists the Frenchman has been considered for a while. Writing in his latest exclusive column for Kauf Offside, Romano also explained that Rabiot is keen for a move to the Premier League this summer, which sounds positive for Man United.
He, Rabio, has been one of the options on Manchester United's list for week. Contacts were then accelerated over the weekend, Romano said. The player would like a Premier League move, but now negotiations are starting with his mother and agent, Veronique, so it will be a financial discussion on salary and more. Juventus are open to selling him. The agreement between clubs is not a problem. Of course, some United fans might be a bit underwhelmed by this particular piece of transfer news, as Rabiu is perhaps not the glamorous midfield signing who would have been at the top of most supporters' list at the start of the summer. Still, the 27-year-old had a solid and consistent career at the highest level, winning major trophies at Juventus and at former club Paris Saint-Germain, as well as with the French national team. It's clear that Man United needs an upgrade on Scott McTominay and Fred, and at this point in the transfer window, bigars can be choosers. Manchester United have renewed interest in Lazio midfielder Sergei Milinkovic Savic. According to Jason Bird of the Daily Telegraph via United Report on Twitter, Manchester United have renewed their interest in Lazio midfielder Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Lazio are aware of the Red Devils' resurging attentiveness towards their star midfielder, but are unwilling to sell. Still, those involved in the negotiations have positive feelings about it and believe an agreement can be struck. Lazio would seemingly need to be given 60 million euros to part ways with the Serbian. However, it's still early stages for Man United and remains to be seen what the outcome is. The Manchester-based club are in need of quality in the middle of the park. Milinkovic Savic has an abundance of talent as he's shown in Italy over the years. The 27-year-old has spent seven seasons at Lazio so far. In his time with Lazio, the Serbia international has featured in 294 games, scoring 58 goals and providing 51 assists. The Lazio star is one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders in the world. Man United requires someone of Milinkovic Savic ilk. Paul Pogba brought flair to the midfield for the Red Devils, but the Frenchman left the club at the end of his contract this summer. Fans of the Old Trafford side feel the squad lacks quality in the engine room. Fred and Scott McTominay haven't been able to convince fans of their ability to be starters for a club like United. Other options are Bruno Fernandes and Christian Eriksen, but both of our midfield stars are more attack-minded. Milinkovic Savic is a number 8, but has played as a pivot for Lazio as well. Supporters have been calling for more reinforcement in the middle of the park. The Brighton and Half Albion game on the opening day of the campaign only made the fans' argument stronger. Jap Stam convinced Frankie de Jong will choose Manchester United over Chelsea. Manchester United have been widely linked with a move for Frankie de Jong all summer with the Barcelona midfielder, being viewed by the club as the perfect alternative to slot in the middle of the park. While United, according to numerous reports, already agreed on a fee and a payment structure with the Blue Grana weeks ago, an issue over the player's deferred wages that he is owed by his employers has made it impossible to get a deal over the line. The Dutch player's situation has of course attracted other suitors' interest in his services. United, the Premier League rivals at Chelsea, are said to be firmly in the race for the 25-year-old and fancy their chances ahead of the Red Devils. The Athletics' David Ornstein reported in the morning that the London club are not only willing to match United's offer for De Jong, but would also be keen on paying his salary debt should they choose to move forward with a potential deal. According to Ornstein, Man United are pursuing a deal since agreeing on a fee. Chelsea are also pushing hard. Indications are they had to pay a fee plus salary debt if formalized interest. However, he also reiterates the player's preference to remain with the Spanish giants. Similar sentiments have been reported by media and the news outlet Relevo. As per Relevo, De Jong said no to Chelsea owner Todi Bowley, who called him, insisting his wish was to stay in Catalonia. This is undoubtedly a boost for United fans, who will interpret the Relevo report as a sign they are still in the race for the midfield maestro. Supporters will also be encouraged by club legend and De Jong's countryman, Jop Stams, Comments regarding the player's likely destination, speaking ahead of United's opener against Brighton and Hove Albion, Stam said, My feeling is that Frankie de Jong will come here to Old Trafford at Manchester United. They know for a long time that Frankie de Jong wants to come, otherwise they would never push this long to get it done. It's just a money issue for now. 
I will be uploading daily Man United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.